guys what's up welcome back to my channel it's been ages i know but i told you before and i'm kind of chilling with my youtube right now i'm just recording and uploading when i feel like i have something to tell you or to show you otherwise i'm not giving like a video schedule for me because it doesn't go well when i do i stress a lot i have a lot of things to do and you guys already know so this was the way that I found out to be more relaxed so YouTube is gonna be that account that I have and that I love but I'm not going to put too much stress on myself so I'm going to upload when I feel like I have something important to share so today I have something for you guys I told you that my next video will probably be about skincare routine because you guys have been asking for a a while but guess what it is not because I'm not good at planning stuff and you guys probably already know that I'm just not good at it so I have my skincare that I wanted to share with you but I feel like it's not ready yet I'm still trying to find out some products that I feel like I need to add to my skincare routine until I have the perfect products I'm not gonna share with you but I feel it's coming very soon but in the meantime you guys always ask me a lot about my hair care routine you guys know that i have a video about how i treat my hair like my hair routine and you guys seem to like that video it's all about how to grow your hair in a healthy way on that video i tell you guys that i always cut my hair by myself at home and i cut it just a little bit apparently your hair always seems long but you are cutting and making it healthy so some of you guys were asking how i do it and guess what this video is going to be me cutting my hair and showing you guys how i do it so if you guys want to see how i cut my own hair without messing it up at home just keep on watching so I'm starting this tutorial after washing my hair because it's so much easier to cut your hair while it's still wet. So after washing it and towel drying, I just apply my favorite hair oil. Hair oil is always my favorite, so I apply a lot of it. But I guess if you have oily hair, you won't apply as much. So after applying a reasonable amount of hair oil, I'm going to start to brush my hair by pieces. You're going to need to have your hair really well brushed so you can see the real length. So go ahead and brush it really nice. So after your hair is all brushed, you need to split your hair in the middle or on the side like you usually wear it. And I'm gonna start cutting it from the back to the front because it's the longest part of your hair. It's in the back, at least with my hair cut. So I'm going to start there and then I'm gonna move towards the front where I have the shortest part and then I'll move on to the bangs. So to make it easier for me, I selected the part of the hair that I'm going to start cutting on the back and I just clipped everything that we are not going to cut right now so it doesn't get in the way. Brush the selected hair a little bit more so you can do an even cut and then grab your pair of scissors. We are going to start by grabbing small pieces of hair to make sure all the hairs are being held and they are on the same position so you can do an even cut. So slide down your hand through your hair and then you can cut the centimeters that you want. For me, I'm going to start cutting about 5 to 7 centimeters. As you can see, we cut it about 7 centimeters. I don't really like when the cut is too square, so I always put my scissors in a vertical position and then I cut it. Just take both pieces to the center and see if they match in terms of length and if they don't, just do a small adjustment and we keep on doing the same thing over and over. So now that we finish this entire section of hair, what I'm going to do is to try to make some layers to my hair. So basically I'm going to make a vertical cut from the top to the bottom of the ends to kind of blend with the other hair. Now 
now that I'm happy with this section, I'm going to put it back and bring to the front all the hair that we clipped on before. Now this section is still too big, so I'm going to divide the hair now, but I'm going to keep it split it down the middle. So I'm going to grab half of the hair on each side and just clip it down on a small bun. And now we are going to do exactly what we did with the other section. Since my haircut has some layers to it, it's not like completely straight. I'm just maintaining my haircut. So this section is shorter than the section we did before. And the next one is going to be even shorter. That's just the way my hair is cut. But if you have a straight cut, it's exactly the same thing. Because right now you are cutting seven centimeters to every single piece of hair so you will be maintaining the haircut that you already have you're going to do that to both sides So now as you can see we have almost all the hair cut and we are just missing two pieces that are currently on our buns. So let's take one of the buns and start cutting our final pieces. Now let's release the other bun and do our final piece. Now that all the hair is cut, we are going to bring every single piece of hair to the front and brush it a little bit again to see what we have. And right now we are going to do some final touches. So basically what I'm going to do is to put the scissor on a vertical position but upside down and I'm going to do some diagonal cuts so I can take some volume away from the hair and do some layers. I'm doing this only to the pieces of hair that are on top, so the layers will fall on top of the longer hair. Now I'm happier with the cut, so I'm going to move on to the bangs now. So first thing I'm doing is clipping all the extra hair that is not going to be cutted with some hair clips. Now that we have the selection of hair that is going on the bangs, we are going to start taking some pieces like we did with the rest of the hair and cutting them like one and a half centimeters. Now on the bangs, I use the scissor on the horizontal position because on the contrary of the rest of the hair, I like my bangs to be very straight and square. But as soon as I finish cutting one and a half centimeters, I grab the scissors again and I do now vertical cuts like I did on the rest of the hair and I do this to take some volume away from the bangs as well. With the bangs I always prefer to cut just a little bit like one centimeter at a time and if I see that the bangs are still very long I go ahead and cut some more and this happened this time so I cut it a little bit and then I went back and cut it some more because they were still falling on top of my eyes and I needed to cut them a little bit more So now that I finished cutting all my hair, I'm going to use my blow dryer and then a hair straightener to make my hair really straight and then I'm coming back to some final touches. Now that my hair is all straight and dried, I'm going to do some final touch-ups because you can see better how the haircut turned out and make some final adjustments. My bangs, as you can see, are not as straight as I wanted them to, especially on the corners. I'm always very afraid to cut the corners because sometimes they curl a little bit, 
but this time as you can see they are very diagonal and I really want them to be straight so I'm going to cut them off a little bit more and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side I'm also going to cut a little bit more on top of my eyes because I feel they are still going to the eye area so just like half a centimeter or something like that and now they are finished they are really like I wanted them to so yeah we can move on to some hair adjustments now now for the hair as you can see there are some pieces where the cutting looks very square so what I usually do is take a piece of hair that looks very square and I try to turn it into a V shape and that makes the cut look more natural and not so like square and straight and I'm going to do that to a lot of pieces of my hair that I see they are looking kind of square And that's it guys, I think I made all the adjustments that I wanted to and now I'm really liking the haircut so I'm going to stop right here Okay, so that was it guys, it's so easy to cut your hair at home If you have like a haircut that you just need to maintain, I don't see the need to go to a hairdresser Unless you're very very bad with the scissors, but otherwise you can do it at home And it's very easy, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna actually stand up just to show you how it looks on camera I should have took a picture before and show you the after exactly with the same outfit with the same lighting but guess what I told you I'm not good at funny things so I hope you guys like this video if you have any other questions regarding this subject let me know in the comments and I will answer them so I hope you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my content and keep tuned for some more videos coming lord knows when but they are coming so keep an eye Love you guys, bye!